California isn't all sunshine and rainbows. And yes, I've been to very dope parts of California that I thoroughly enjoy, but not every part is actually like that. So what I'm about to show you guys is something that I'm very self-conscious about, but I want other people in the world to feel as though you're not alone. So, I'm African American and West Indian. Since I got out here to Lamora, California, it has gotten so bad for my skin. I'm in a part of California that a lot of people don't know, are not familiar with, or they just don't care about. Because when I got here, it was like 90 plus degrees outside. It was definitely like straight up with something out of holes. My skin has, the word I'm looking for is like kind of like activated. And I know my camera isn't perfect, Right here, you can see the discoloration. Even when I do lotion, or even when I apply certain things to my skin, like it, it's a constant, constant pain in the ass to take care of. A lot of it has to do with the air out here. I said this in my other video, Hanford, Bakersfield, and Fresno. They are three of the top cities in America that have the worst air quality, and I am not exaggerating. It is like that on my back. It is slowly but surely grown more on my neck. I'm also gonna show you guys. That's how right under my arm looks. I'm trying to keep my shirt up, so yeah. Lately, all I've been trying to use is specific products. I've been using Shea Moisture African Black Soap Body Wash. Jergens Daily Moisture. This is the blue one. It's becoming expensive, so if you would like to donate to the Lindsay Skin is F***ed Up Fund, feel free to do so. It doesn't matter the amount of water I drink, the amount of lotion I use. It's like it's never ending, and this is a major thing I hate about Central California. This is Lamar. Every morning, nice and foggy. Imagine when I get on the highway. The air quality is not only bad, but it's also the water here as well. A lot of people, especially like around this area, they usually get filters and things like that because of the type of water that's out here. When I first started realizing my condition, it would come to the point where I would have to leave in the middle of doing something at work to go and lotion my entire torso because I was so dry, I was so itchy, and it was absolutely terrible. I've been here for almost four years now, and granted the, the itchiness has decreased a lot, but it's a constant having to lotion all the time. I have at least two bottles in every main location that I go to. You don't really realize how much water in the air is important until you lack it. And guess what? I'm still cute some days. With everything being said, I speak to those who are suffering with some part of their body that they're not comfortable with or whether it's just your body in general. You gather the strength that you have because you live to see another day. You're here for a reason to continue and be a better you. If there's something about your body that you can't change, then learn to accept it and learn to move on from it. And if there's something about you that you do want to change, then you take that initiative and you actually push through. There are often times where I would never want to go outside in a bikini. Sometimes I still feel that way, but I've learned to live with it. And I learned that there are other people in this world who are going through worse and that are a lot stronger than me. And it's people like that that motivate me. So I'm here for those who feel that they're suffering and they don't have anybody that knows what it feels like to have some type of like skin problem, some type of weight on them or some, anything. I need you guys to stay motivated, be positive because there is things out there to look forward to. There are things out there to see. You can't let the physical affect you in that way. You can be so much better than that. I think I'm done preaching now. <laughs> Make sure that you click that subscribe button because 2018 is the year of shooting your shot and I'm trying to shoot my shot as much as possible. My next goal right now is to reach 900 subscribers and I can only do that with your help because you guys are great and you deserve to see good positive and funny content and that's exactly what i'm going to be putting out and i'm going to keep it real i look like <laughs> you know it's night and i'm tired so peace and remember be a potato can you love me naked yeah yeah naked